In elementary school, I remember discussions about role models. We asked ourselves, who inspires us? Who do we look up to? Who are our role models? A firefighter, a policeman, a teacher, nurse, doctor, maybe even a celebrity or an athlete. Growing up, I had my parents, my family, and my teachers who I looked up to. But as I got older, and I dealt with life and ever-changing priorities, I went from being inspired to being complacent. In this state of complacency, I stopped growing mentally, physically, emotionally, and spiritually. I hit a low when I entered my 30s. Even with job security, living in a comfortable home, I felt lonely, anxious, and this feeling of never being enough and it led to my first panic attack. It shook me, and it woke me up to realize that my life is worthy. I became the young, curious person that I once was, and I started asking questions again. What is true happiness? What is success? What is the meaning of life? I googled how to be happy, and I started finding answers. I found people people with remarkable stories. From impact theory, I found David Goggins and his book Can't Hurt Me. I found the five second rule from Mel Robbins. We bought into this, this complete falsehood that at some point you're gonna have the courage, at some point you're gonna have the confidence. I wanted to organize my life and I found Marie Kondo. You will also understand yourself more and Design your life you want. I wanted to find peace, so I started listening to Jay Shetty. I started finding answers to questions I wasn't even asking. I started listening to audiobooks, and I found meaning. Every person I found had knowledge and wisdom to share. I was the same curious five-year-old again. I felt myself growing. Wanting to learn more, I found Brene Brown and the power of vulnerability. More recently, I found Dr. Peterson and his powerful wisdom on life. Like in a musical piece, every note has to fit with every other note across the entire span of the piece. Well, that's what your life needs to be like, is like how you act with me right now is, has to be in harmony with what you want for yourself tomorrow. Dr. Peterson, along with everyone that I've come across, have slowly guided me to reframe my reality and redefine what it means to be happy, whole, and find meaning in life again. Role models provide a source of inspiration. They're people that we look up to and aspire to be. And to me, that's why role models are important. And the honest truth, I forgot to keep role models in my life as I grew older, because everyday people can be role models too. My parents, who showed me what sacrifice looks like and the importance of family and community. My nieces, who show me how to be silly again. My colleagues, who challenge me to be a better educator. Musicians, performers, and artists who inspire my creativity. Public servants and local leaders who encourage civic duty and community service. These role models have guided me down a path that challenged me to be a person who I thought I couldn't be. And so I ask you, who do you look up to? Who inspires you? Who challenges you? And who reminds you of who you can be? I'm John Gaspar, and this is The Growth Club, where I share stories to help us think, feel, and be different. I've linked some of my favorite interviews and resources in the description. Click like and subscribe for weekly content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.